July 23rd, 2012. And in this segment of this video, we're going to talk about hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat training for a lot of you brothers, okay? Because a lot of you brothers think you can fight, and you really don't, okay? Now, in, on TV, in the media, every fight that you see is profit driven okay it's not about survival and in a fight that's about survival you are uh, you basically gonna it the fight ain't gonna be the same okay as you see on tv and i'm gonna explain why now fights on tvs have rules. A fight in the street don't have rules. So what you're basically going to do is um, no rules. You can do whatever you want. In, in a fight, there are no rules in a street fight. I don't care how you um, put it or whatever, but anything goes. Now, let's say for instance, okay, you're in a street fight. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line, okay? Now, you can go on online, on YouTube or whatever, and you see people, you know, swinging like this with the roundhouse, okay? That's a big no-no, okay? Like I said, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, okay? A straight line. Meaning that the time it takes for that roundhouse to come around, your opponent would have already jabbed you, just like that, okay? So now, what you do, okay, is you start off with some jabs, okay? With a jab, like that. But you gotta make sure your feet are planted well, okay? Like I said, I'm left-handed. All right, so you start off with jabs. And when you jab, you go in the, the rhythm. You, it's, you gotta go like that, okay? For it to be effective, because you jabbing like that, it's gonna throw you off balance. So you throw it with a twist, okay? But it doesn't stop there, because if you hit a person in a certain spot in their head, it ain't gonna really do a difference. You end up hurting your hand, okay? Busting up your knuckles and things like that. So what you do is you go with an open palm strike, okay? Now, there's a video on YouTube of this uh, this faggot ass cop that uh, sucker punched the brother when he's already in cuffs, okay? And if that was me in handcuffs, personally, if I was handcuffed and the cop hit me, I would have head butted the punch, okay? The hardest part of the body is the top of the head. So you still have a defensive, some defense if you're in cuffs by doing a head butt to a punch. But you got to see it coming, okay? Now, with that open strike, that palm, in certain sports, okay, certain sports, like I said, they have rules. In a regular fight, there are no rules. So when you do an open strike with the palm, you want to grip, okay? When you strike flesh, you grip it and you pull, all right? You pull it out. Like I said, there's no, no, no rules, okay? So I'm going to give you an example of... Uh, how to strike, open palm strike, and grasp of, along to the palm. This, this really is the most, this part of the body, this will put a person down quick. In the Bibles, it tells you about Jacob wrestles with an angel. The angel touches Jacob, okay, in his side, and put him down to the ground. Okay, now, with an open strike, you go, 
like that, okay? You want to go in here, somewhere in here, not here, but right here, because if you hit the right spot, the legs are going to turn into spaghetti, okay? They're going to get weak in the legs. That's why a lot of you brothers that train, you better have some kind of strength in your legs, okay? Because if you don't, one punch can sink you to the ground. One blow to the, to the midsection will put your ass down to the ground, okay? Now with open palm strike, you want to go like that, all right? Straight. You want to go straight like that. You don't have to have gloves on, all right? But you want to go straight like that, okay? This has to be touching, but you're gripping like that, like a vice grip, okay? Like that. None of that roundhouse, because that shit ain't going to work on somebody like me. You come with a roundhouse, that's all I'm going to do, and I'm going like that, okay? That's all I'm gonna do. Now, I'm gonna tell you about another thing with the roundhouse, all right? When somebody, when you strike somebody, you're leaving yourself open, okay? What you're gonna do is, if somebody come with the roundhouse, most people, majority of people are right-handed, okay? In the word, they're right-handed. So, let's say if I'm fighting a right-handed person, he throw that right hand out to me, okay? He throwing the right, and then he throwing the left. Throwing the right, left. Right, left. He gonna throw that right, and I'm gonna see it. It just depends on if I wanna take advantage. I'm gonna see that right, and I'm gonna do this, okay? Bring it back around like that. I'm gonna lock on it, I'm gonna lock on it. It's, it's on, okay? Then I'm going to go to the ground with it, okay? And I'm going to snap it, okay? Depends on how I want to how I want to do it. Or if I want to, I can just keep it like that and come with a strike, okay? Because if his power, all of his power is in his right hand, I got his right hand. He can't hurt me, okay? If you weak in the left, you might have a little power in the left, but in the right hand, his soul power is in his right hand. He ain't gonna be able to knock me out with his right hand if he can knock me out in the first place, okay? Now, something else I wanna talk about is strength training in the legs. When you're fighting somebody, you don't need to keep your legs straight, okay? You try to walk with your legs straight, okay? You're gonna be looking like Frankenstein. You want to keep the legs bent, and you want to kind of just tuck low. Keep it low like that. So when you strike, when you come and strike, you don't necessarily have to go to the head. You can go to the body, or you can go to the thigh, okay? Now this camera kind of sit low, the way I have it. It's for a reason, okay? Because I want you to see if I stood up all the way, you won't really be able to see too well, so you'll be able to kind of see how I'm working, okay? Now, being quick with your feet is a major thing also. You don't want to stand in one spot to get hit. All that fancy rhythm, all that, sometimes they're working a fight, sometimes they don't. Because you are burning energy in a fight, you don't want to burn that much energy. You want to conserve energy but use your power effectively as well. So, what you do is you stand in one spot. None of that, you know, juggling around and none of that. You're burning unnecessary energy. The boxers do it all the time. What you want to do is stand in one spot and have your feet planted well, all right? Because the majority of your power is coming from the ground. It ain't necessarily coming from these. It's coming from the ground, all right? That's why in it, when you, uh, in electricity, AC, alternating current, you have the, the hot wire, which is the plus, and you have the ground wire, okay, which is the negative, all right? Without the ground, there's no power. It has to be grounded, just like your feet. 
that has to be grounded, okay? So what you do, you ground your feet well, and you kind of like that, okay? And whenever you see something coming at you, you move, okay? It depends on if you want to fire back, you want to answer back, or not. But you don't stand up there and let somebody hit you. But at the same time, you don't burn in unnecessary in energy as well, okay? Somebody come at you with the left, you can come back like that, okay? It just depends. But you don't stand on one spot. Also, when you're doing a strike, okay, depending on what it is, you, you always kind of want to keep it straight, all right? Like I said, keep it straight. Kind of keep it straight a little bit because when you come in like that, you have all this open. This is open as well. In a fight, anything goes. As I said, anything goes in a fight. So, if you have, let's say, say like if you fighting somebody on the street, automatically, this is the way it's going to be. Hmm? That's the way it's going to be. What you're going to do is you're going to kind of go down. You, you, you won't expect you to be coming straight and narrow like that. If you coming like this, you're going to be going low like that, all right? And it's always good to go low. I'm going to tell you why. When you go low, you have the advantage. Because people tend to stand with their legs straight in the fight. Okay, like that. You don't want to do that. You want to keep them bent, which keeps you flexible. Okay? You can move like that. You know, something like that. You know, you, you don't have to be stagnate, okay? Because the majority of people that fight in the street fight, this all you see. This all you see. That right there, okay? But you want to go straight. Always straight. And don't necessarily use your fist, okay? Trust me. Your knuckles are going to take a beat. Go with open palm strikes, like I said and dig into the flesh. In certain sports, that's against the rules. But there are no rules, okay? Like I said. So, when you doing a strike, okay? If you in the combat and you doing a strike, you wanna go like that, okay? And if somebody coming that you with a roundhouse, and you have, you're going straight like that. It's not hard for you to do that when you're doing that. Hmm? Not hard at all. Now, when you train, most people tend to focus on power. Power comes automatically with momentum. Momentum with speed. Okay? Say for instance, you have a motorcycle. Alright? And you have a Mustang that's supercharged. Okay? A regular 900 motorcycle, it could be a 900, it could be a 1000 or 1200. But you got this big V8 Mustang, okay? Lots of power. Alright? That Mustang ain't gonna go as fast as that motorcycle. The motorcycle has less than half the horsepower of that Mustang, but because of the power to weight ratio, the motorcycle is gonna be faster than the Mustang, okay? Because of the weight. There's plenty of videos you can go and watch of little small Hondas, okay? Little small Honda Accords, little small Honda Civics and, and, and Preludes whooping the shit out of Mustangs, okay? with just a modified intake and the right kind of motor. You see what I'm saying? 
stock, not not turbo, but some of them stock K20 inch. You see what I'm saying? V16 inch. It just depends. But the lighter the car, the faster it'll go. Okay. So you don't necessarily need to focus on power. In a fight, you really kind of need to focus on grip. And I'm gonna show you. This is where these kick in right here. You strengthen your forearms, your grip is going to enhance, okay? You want to lock, all right? Just like a goddamn python or a ball constrictor, they lock on you. They, the, the, they not, the, the bite ain't going to do much damage. The damage is when they lock on you, okay? They lock and squeeze. So what you want to do just kind of train your forearms so when you lock on somebody, when you got this right here coming at you, and you lock on it, and you bring it back like that, that's all right. They're not getting out of it. It's not going to happen, okay? But for you brothers, you have to focus on not coming like that it's not gonna happen if you find somebody that has a little skill just a little bit of skill it ain't gonna happen okay james tony got his ass whooped in the mma all right a lot of people going there thinking that they they skills they striking skills is what gonna save them. more than likely the fight is going to go to the goddamn ground okay and you gotta have some kind of skill to know how to handle yourself on the ground, all right? Because, you know, it, it's, it's almost impossible. I don't care how good you are, if a person wants to get you on the ground, they can't. If you can't knock them out, they're gonna get you on the ground, all right? Now, there are plenty of grappling techniques, okay? I, can, I don't have nobody to score with to show you. I don't have no no uh, no doll and no mannequin or whatever. But like I said, locking onto an arm can change the fight. Okay, can end the fight quick and bring that person into submission. And that's what you really kind of want to do. You want to have control of the fight. Okay, when you standing up. If you're burning energy and you're striking, you don't really have much of a, uh, much leverage as you would if you was on the ground. That's why when doing the UFC, a lot of the, um, a lot of the, the, the Gracies, like Royce Gracie, you know, dominated the whole fucking sport. As a matter of fact, it was Royce Gracie that changed the whole goddamn sport in the UFC. Because you had all kinds of fighters coming in there with different styles, but you dominate them. It don't matter. You, you have powerful ass fighters, fighters from different styles that didn't matter. What it boiled down to, the fight went to the ground, and that's where he did his work at, okay? That's when you need to do your work if, if it ever comes to that. Okay, but don't focus on power because power is not everything in a fight. It's skill and technique, all right? That's what it is, skill and technique. Now, you can take the smallest person, and if they hit the right spot in the, in the human body, which we all have the pressure points, okay? We all have them. If they hit one of those pressure points, you're going to go down, all right? You're gonna go down. Pressure points here, pressure points in the temple, in the eyes, nose, you know. I mean, the list goes on and on. But if you don't have skill, a technique, you don't really have much in a fight. Power is not everything, especially if you don't know how to use it. But I don't have nothing to demonstrate no power out here right now. But at the same time, you brothers need to focus on 
your stance, okay? Getting your feet gripped to the ground, all right? Because like I said, your power is going to come from the ground, not necessarily your arms, okay? And being able to strike, all right? Strike effectively. You have more of a chance that getting, landing a solid strike going straight than with a roundhouse punch because the punches are going to slide off. Whereas when you're going straight, you're going to make direct contact. You're going to make a solid impact if that person is standing in that spot, okay? But I'm going to end this video for the next segment, which I don't know what is, but again, strikes and movement. That's it. Going straight, strikes, and moving, all right?